It is start number two on the season for Cappy Pondexter in a fever uniform. Tamika Erica Wheeler back in the starting lineup where she started the season. 23 games that she has played out in Phoenix as Candace Dupree wins the opening tip. She goes against her wife, Dewana Bonner. And Dewana, of course, her sister is Erica McCall. So there are plenty of family ties here when Indiana takes on Phoenix. And there's Dupree open early, and Candace Dupree gets Indiana on the board. Chanwa in year number four. No look pass. Dewana Bonner left open in the corner. And one of the things you'll look for the Mercury team to do is just that. Throws it down. And one thing that we have forgot to discount is Happy Pondexter used to be on the Phoenix Mercury. Griner, that drop step on a Chanwa. This is where she's so dangerous on the offensive glass. And Brittany Griner. That one tracked down by Vivian. You love the hustle. You love the heart. Have been put in a different situation where this team has relied on them so much from the scoring aspect. And now to bring somebody in, Victoria Vivian. Like Dupree has six of Indiana's eight. Tarasi again off balance, again off the mark. There's Griner with a put back, and Griner has six. Rearn is just not slowing down. It is not, and you know, I think for her, being able to get the proper rest that she needs has been a big thing for her. Phoenix has not done since, what, 2009. You're looking for all the different possibilities and all the lineups that you can find. And Vivian's in transition, pulls up and knocks it down. Easy points. You don't want easy points. You don't want easy possession. There's Victoria Vivian, who's opened up. Thing for Dewana Bonner. Vivian already has four. Give Victoria Vivian seven. Indiana 17. Now Bonner will go right at the rookie. Bonner, maybe an extra step, and Dewana Bonner got it to go. She's so long. That and now Griner got back and into a good position. It was Mitchell on her, and you saw the mismatch. Joe Robinson pulls it down. I'll say this time and time again, but the one thing that makes the Fever team, when they are playing at the they started with, and even the players coming off the bench have continued to have that. Dewana Bonner now has nine as she drives the baseline. And that's where Phoenix did a lot of their damage in the first quarter. Here's Tarasi, who's been held scoreless so far, scoreless no more. About midway through the first. That's such a major storyline here going forward. As Alexander hesitates and scores through Robinson. Critical possession right there, too. When you get that mid-match, you have to be able to produce. As Leilani Mitchell knocks one down from the corner. Dupree had eight in the first quarter. She leads all fever scores. Gets around Little, draws the double. There's Alexander left alone. Great for Candace Dupree driving low. Got to make sure you get somewhere where she can see you. Tarasi attacking Debris, and there's Diana Tarasi with five quick points to open up the second. See, she's so lethal from the three-point line. You have to guard her out there. Championship together in Phoenix, so a lot of blood right there, too. Wheeler charges right to the rim, and Erica Wheeler has two in off the deflection. Now Wheeler looking ahead for Tiffany Mitchell. Makes Bonner wait. She couldn't finish. Another try for Tiffany. <laughs> quarter I would say the third quarter is where you kind of see what what it is but they are always fighting and that's what you appreciate if you're a fan. Pondexter from the corner Kathy Pondexter knocks it down. Back inside to Grider over that left shoulder and Brittany Grider is 14. That's the flow obviously we know the ball is going down low but one thing that they have done great is spreading the offense. All the offensive balls they have all see the light at the end of the tunnel for eighth place. She's already in very rarefied air and getting closer to the top as Brittany Griner scores again. Wheeler will pull up. She was left alone and Erica Wheeler hits it. Now Wheeler with a shot clock at seven. She drives at January. Good defense from Brian and Wheeler threw it in anyway. She looks like a nice pro when you couple that with Erica Wheeler, what she's been able to do. And now Pondexter who drives on. First lead since the first quarter. Dupree driving at Robinson. Candace Dupree. From a 13-point deficit, they have the lead as Mitchell steps in. Mitchell with the steal. She'll bounce for a charging wheeler. Mitchell there to clean up. 
Tarasi looking to end the drought. Diana Tarasi. And are looking to add on to it as Pondexter pulls up. That's a good looking shot from Kathy Pondexter. She got against your original team. You got that fire in you. January couldn't get it to go. There's Angel Robinson with the putback. Dupree with 12 in the first half. That left hand over Robinson. Shot clock down to seven. January, that's a long two, and Breon January drains it. Found late in the second quarter. They've held Diana Taurasi to seven in the first half. Here's Taurasi to open up the third, and right on cue, Diana Taurasi buries a three. That gives her ten. In the first half, Phoenix just three. That's really not been a factor so far. As they go right back to Griner, she turns over a Chanwa, and Griner has 18. Now, and she put in time, and she put in work to get better. Dupree able to save it, put 14 back on the clock for Indiana. Who has not scored yet in the second half. Pondexter changes that. She's gotten here. She is far more than a locker room presence. Little left alone. Well, you know what, Cappy Pondexter. Playing well. Chapman going with the hot hand. Here's Pondexter. Another tough look, and Pondexter hits another. They'll go right back down to the post to Griner over Achanwa. Good position for Brittany Griner. She now has 20. Kind of holding what looks like might be her right hand as Achanwa springs free, and Natalie Achanwa doesn't miss from there. January here the rest of the way. She might have taken a hit to her right hand as Tarasi gets inside and draws the foul. So lethal off the dribble. Fever team in the, in the past has been, you know, not necessarily focusing so much on the referee, but being able to to do the things that you need to do. And that's when Pondexter, but that shot has been falling tonight. Tarasi straight away, and Tarasi has another halftime and been clicking. Dupree, that's a tough look. It's over January, and Candace Dupree gets it to go. Right now, you look at 14 assists for this Indiana Fever team, shooting the ball 47 times. They've connected on 25 shots out of the way for the offensive rebound. Dupree had it poked away from behind. Got that one to go. They'll count it. And Candace Dupree right back to the line. The other teams, that is probably a basket for Erica Wheeler as Bonner steps into a three and rolls it down. Where you said Tarasi started off. She came out that third quarter really looking to, to shoot. If you look at the L.A. Sparks and just the kind of, like you said, the caliber of players that they already have. Is that a player that you know? They've been in pretty much every game. They're going to come out, and we keep talking about how young this team is. John what faces the double from Dupree. Here's Mitchell off the grinder screen, and Leilani Mitchell buries a three. <laughs> Vivian's back to Dupree, who continues her strong night. Now 23 for Candace Dupree. Bonner on the hesitation, scores underneath. Turner driving past Mitchell, met by Achanwa. Good defense, and Griner, she's six foot nine. She reaches over, scores with a foul. A six on the glass. There are two wins this year. They rebounded their, out-rebounded their opponent in both of them as Kathy Pondexter, that mid-range jump shot is falling for her tonight. And the way Candace Dupree is going, she's taking 17 shots. I don't think you'd mind if she finished the game with 30. Bonner with the shot clock down to five. A rolling Griner defended by Alexander. Griner with a basket. Griner with a foul rather than later. Bonner can't get that one to go. The offensive rebound. Tarasi will pull. And just like that, Phoenix, which saw a 13-point lead. They have not been able to convert. And so really trying to find where they can get that shot and get something going for this. They come into this league and... You know, for the majority, you have the plays ran for you. That ball in the hand. Not necessarily able to make the... We'll be paying off in years down the line. Oh, definitely. And, you know, you, she has everything that quality... Point. The scoreboard not going to be indicative of how this one went as Phoenix is finishing here on a torrid pace. Indiana actually led at halftime. Found its way in Phoenix's favor here in the fourth quarter. Certainly her effort 
is the one distinguishing mark. Well, they came in with a plan, a definite plan of getting the ball down low. Kelsey Mitchell finally gets that shot to go. You can right see. around a year old at this point. You can imagine they'll be good basketball players. Leilani Mitchell will dribble this one out. The Fever overcame a 13-point first-half deficit to take a halftime lead. But as this one wore on, the Phoenix Mercury...